Now your ABC7 first alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So as hurricane preparedness week continues, we're going to talk on the t speak about the topic today of your hurricane supply kit. Um, I like to think of it as uh, a kit that you put together, tailor-made to yourself, that will allow you to go wilderness camping for a week to two weeks. That's pretty much what you need in your kit. Uh, we, uh, we, we, we like to say that uh, there are two kinds of kits that you need to have as well. The supply kit, if you plan to shelter in place, that one would require, of course, a larger capacity because you're going to have to take a lot of things. You have to gather a lot of things. But if you're going to evacuate somewhere, you'll need a go kit, which is a suitcase packed with uh, everything you need to uh, go to a hotel room for uh, a week or so. If you need any information on putting your kit together, I suggest go to John Scalzi the ABC7 on Facebook. I've got some links there that will take you step by step through putting together your supply kit, what you need in it, uh, how long that supply kit should last you, and uh, what the life expectancy or self shelf life, I guess you could say, is of a kit. Basically, you have to do one every year. Looking at uh, sunny and dry conditions throughout the day today, 66 the air temperature by 7 p.m., uh, 7 a.m. rather, and then as we head into the afternoon, temperatures will continue to rise up to around the 90 mark, just about the same as yesterday. In fact, today, kind of a carbon copy of yesterday, really, only with perhaps some slightly lower dew point values in the afternoon, making it feel more comfortable. I mean, really, on a scale of one to doesn't get any better than this, how good was yesterday evening, right? That nice dry wind that came in and really kind of cooled things off. Same sort of situation as we head into this evening, I think. We'll get a nice breezy wind that will uh, be delightful during the evening hours. 66, the current air temperature, dew point value in the 50s. That doesn't get much better. North wind coming in at about 3. Winds out of the northeast will continue throughout the afternoon. Maybe a little bit of a sea breeze trying to build in during the later part of the afternoon right along the immediate coastline. Otherwise, inland winds, I think, will be shifting more to a north or stay northeast. As we head into the evening hours, plenty of sunshine, clear skies, no rain in the forecast for today. It's beautiful. So we have a frontal boundary sinking south. This is a secondary cold front that will be moving through the state of Florida tonight through tomorrow morning. What it will do will be to stall out through the Florida Keys. As it stalls out on the Florida Keys, high pressure builds in. We continue with the northeast wind, and we have several days of absolutely delightful weather. Then, over the weekend, that stalled out front will start to lift back north as a warm front, and that will help trigger off a few scattered showers. Before that, we'll probably try to moisten things up Friday into Friday night with a little bit higher dew point values. But for today, sunny and warm weather continues. The front stalls to our south, setting us up for the weekend showers. And uh, the weekend rain chance will probably bring us about a mm, 30 to 40 percent chance of showers as we head into Saturday and Sunday. So the forecast, there we go. Looks like this. Daytime high tops out about 90 today. Tomorrow about 88. Plenty of sunshine both days. Thursday, maybe we start to moisten things up just a little bit. Friday, I think you'll notice the increase in humidity and we'll start to factor in a rain chance late in the evening into the overnight on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. Put in that 40 to 50 percent chance of a scattered shower, maybe a thunderstorm, particularly in the afternoon, and that'll carry on until the beginning of next work week.